so friends in this video lecture we are going to discuss this example find the length of the arc of the parabola y square is equal to 4x which is cut off by the line 3y is equal to 4x so this is the example based on rectification now y square is equal to 4x this is the standard parabola which is given by this curve so i denote here y square is equal to 4x and second one it is the line 3y is equal to 8x so this is the line 3y is equal to 8x so first of all let us find out the points of intersection so from observation it is 0 0 in order to calculate point of intersection we have to solve these two equations i write here solution we have to solve these two equations y square is equal to 4x and 3y is equal to 8x so y square is equal to 4 now what is value of x from the second equation it is 3 by 8 y so y square is equal to uh, 4 this is 8 so it is 3 by 2 y so what are the values of y which implies y is equal to 0 or y is equal to 3 by 2 now when y is equal to 0 so use one of these two equations to find the value of x so which implies x is equal to 0 so 0 0 this point this is the one of the point of intersection so it is 0 comma 0 now second one when y is equal to 3 by 2 then what is the value of x so i will use second equation so 3 what is y it is 3 by 2 is equal to 8x so therefore x is equal to 9 by 16 so this point is x is 9 by 16 and y is 3 by 2 now you are asked what is the length of this arc of this parabola so from this point to this point so point of intersection why these are important because it is required to define the integrations of integration of limits now let us denote capital L is equal to length of this required arc so it is integral y1 to y2 square root of 1 plus dx by dy whole square into dy in this example i have considered x is a function of y that is x is equal to y square by 4 we will use this result to find out length of the arc now what is lower limit for y it is 0 what is upper limit it is 3 by 2 into square root of 1 plus now what is dx by dy so dx by dy is equal to differentiation with, with respect to y so it is 2y upon 4 that is y by 2 so it is square root of 1 plus y square by 4 into dy now you simplify this you will get integral 0 to 3 by 2 square root of y square plus 4 into dy divided by square root of 4 that is i will write outside the integration 1 by 2 now we use standard result of integration that is square root of root of x square plus a square into dx so what is value of this integration it is x by 2 square root of x square plus a square plus a square by 2 into log of x plus root of x square plus a square now we use this result to find out this integration so therefore l is equal to 1 by 2 in bracket x by 2 now in this case i will write y by 2 square root of y square plus 4 
plus a square by 2 so a is 2 here so 4 by 2 into log of y plus root of y square plus 4 okay and what are the limits of integration these are 0 to 3 by 2 so therefore l is equal to 1 by 2 now for upper limit what is the value of this expression for upper limit that is y is equal to 3 by 2 so it is y by 2 so it is 3 by 4 square root of y square plus 4 so 9 by 4 plus 4 plus 2 into log of 3 by 2 plus y square plus 4 means 9 by 4 plus 4 so this is value of the expression for upper limit so I will write in bracket square bracket upper limit minus lower limit y is equal to 0 so this expression is 0 this is 0 this is 0 so it is minus 2 into log of square root of 4 that is 2 close the bracket so let us simplify this expression so l is equal to 1 by 2 now what is this it is 3 by 4 into 9 plus 16 that is 25 by 4 it means 5 by 2 right in bracket plus 2 into log of now this is 3 by 2 and this is 5 by 2 so it is log of 8 by 2 close the bracket minus 2 log 2 now l is equal to 1 by 2 in bracket 15 by 8 plus 2 log of 4 minus 2 log of 2 close the bracket so therefore l is equal to 15 by 16 plus log of 4 minus log of 2 that is 15 by 16 plus log of 2 so this is the required length of the arc of the parabola thank you for watching this video